Okay, smartphone apps. This is a Galaxy S4, and I'm on AT&T. It's a Android smartphone. So all of my experience is with this phone. I've only had it about three or four months. <clears throat> but the concepts and the ideas will relate to other Android and Apple electronic platforms. It'll just be, there'll be minor differences, but so far the ones I've checked, every app that I have, with very few exceptions, has been available for an iPhone as well. Now, I don't, I'm not saying go out and buy a smartphone. If you don't have one, it's not worth the money because they are expensive. But when it comes time to replace your phone, consider getting a smartphone. And I also want to, do not want to imply that you depend on any type of electronic instrument in the field. I always have backups to my backups and although my smartphone can substitute for several other electronic devices including a GPS, a weather instrument to a degree, a document reader, a voice recorder, camera, video camera, and several other functions that you can cut down on what you need to carry uh, electronically. And it's also a Kindle reader and a PDF reader. Now the very basic use of the smartphone for prepping is ability to have information at your fingertips. You can get information from several sources that uh, on PDFs are various types of text uh, type documents that you can have information right there at your fingertips. You don't need a connection, you don't need Wi-Fi, you don't need cell phone connection. You can be middle of downtown or up in the mountains 100 miles from a cell phone tower. Two of the best ones, I, th I believe, I have the SAS Survival Manual by John Wiseman. I think that's considered one of the best manuals, field manuals around. And there are, I don't know, probably 200 FM 2176 U.S. Army Survival Manuals. Some are free, some are paid, some are partial. So you got to be real careful when you're going after one of those. It's a good manual, but kind of shop around. They can be used offline. Uh, the SAS manual has a free version, but I bought the paid version because it is complete. It ha pretty much has everything in the hardback plus several additional things that use the technology of the smartphone. It can set uh, Morse code. It can, uh, with a flashing light, it can, uh, uh, it has videos to, to illustrate some of the uh, information. Uh -oh. Now, I've got a lot of other offline information. I've got various, uh, I've got a couple of Dutch oven cookbooks. Uh, sorry, Vic, they're a little different than what you were applying. But uh, I got that regular camping uh, cookbooks, hiking, mountaineering, orientation, or orienteering, uh, offline products for things like Word and Excel that you can keep your prep inventory on your phone. You go into a store, you can check prices, see if you if that's something you need, see if it's a good buy or not. I've got stuff for uh, precious metals uh, that you can check prices. You do need a connection to check prices for precious metals, but you can keep an eye on it. You can keep an eye on your other investments as well with a connection again. Now I've got, I've got my meetup stuff on here that I can, get, I can check the meetup messages and whatever, uh, which does, also needs a connection. But I can use my phone as a hotspot so I can use my computer uh, out here, get a connection on my phone and wirelessly connect my computer to it so you can if you are inclined you can take a, a iPad or one of those pads and make it function out in the bonies. Now uh, a particularly good app again an online app is Alert ID. That's an interactive program to report serious events and receive notice of events as they happen. That uh, once I got that I was pretty secure in my apartment and I found out what was happening in under a half a mile from me. Of course, I live 
right near downtown. So most of it is down t in the downtown area. But I had one that was point zero zero two miles from a, uh, an assault and battery with gun. Uh, so it, it tells you things like that uh, going on. There are a lot of apps that are not usable offline, but they do have downloadable files that can be accessed when connected and then put in memory that's so you can use them offline, uh, either in the phone or external SD card or an external storage device. Got first aid, medical reference works, some online, some offline. You can even talk one of them, you can call in a doctor and they can diagnose you over the phone if you have a, if you have a connection. <clears throat> Got my health maintenance for my heart and my diabetes so I can track those. Uh, and there's that communication stuff which is uh, Pretty, pretty cool actually. It's got repeater, I got two repeater location books. I've got some antenna information. I've, I've got two Morse code readers, but I haven't had a ch chance to check them out really yet. Haven't been able to find any code going on, but it should, they're supposed to, uh, when you play, or when you're receiving Morse code, you're supposed to be able to place the phone close to it and it will decode the Morse for you. Even got a couple of gear catalogs. Now, some of the uh, nitty gritty stuff, these are pretty in, uh, dependent on the individual phones. This Samsung uh, S4 was state of the art about four months ago. It's probably old technology now, but it, <laughs> st st stuff will probably be even better in the future. But uh, so it, it has, as I said, it has a GPS. Well, you can read all that stuff. I don't need to go through them. Uh, plus a lot more. Uh, it's with the environmental sensors, you can do some weather forecasting fairly easily, even without a regular uh, weather machine on your pocket. That uh, I can even I even have one app that seems to work that measures the wind speed at using the microphone pressure sensor. So you can get humidity, uh, temperature, barometric pressure, wind speed. Got an app that where I can look at the clouds, see what, what, my, what it says about these clouds are likely to do this. So like I said, it's a pretty good weather forecaster in it. You got uh, the GPS and if you use get offline maps, download and off and store them offline, you can have a GPS system way out in the boonies. Again, no connection, but you do have to make a point to save the maps that you want to use. That anything's available online. A lot of this stuff though, uh, do it on Wi-Fi. My plan calls for unlimited phone and, and Wi-Fi access. My data plan is uh, a lot more expensive. So I, I use the data plan as, as little as I can. With these sensors that are in this thing, uh, got a plumb bob, distance measure, a bubble level, ruler, protractor, all of these here listed. And I've got uh, converters to convert just about any measurement to any other measurement within the same type of unit. Okay, that's all really good. They work right, mine does. I've got all this stuff on it. But these things do not have super great battery life. Uh, I don't know of any that has really great battery life. This uses a 2600 milliamp hour uh, lithium ion battery, which it'll go about a day. I have extra batteries and a charger to charge them separately. But when I come out here, I have two power packs. These are 2600 milliamp batteries. This is a 13,000 milliamp hour battery got two of them and I can charge that would give me several days if I kept the phone turned off except when I needed it I'm good for a couple of weeks and this will charge those which are, are the phone itself and which gives me virtually unlimited use of the phone for a very long time uh, Okay, 
the all of these features said it said it once but I want to say it again all these features are no substitute for traditional methods I dearly love technology I love computers I had my first one 1977 the first one that Radio Shack came out with and I've been a computer and technology person ever since but I carry paper maps I have a compass I have binoculars I have the pocket copy of the SAS survival manual in my kit and if that was to go down I've still got myself covered you don't want to depend on electronic technology uh, now this is a, a fairly recent list of applications I have on my phone and seeing as I went brain dead this morning or yesterday morning I didn't bring my cable for my uh, projector so I can't show them but anybody that wants to look at some of these preps to see what they are just get with me after the presentations are done uh, this evening when the light is low and we can see the screen a little better and I can show you any of these applications uh, one on one or two on one or whatever but you can see how many I've got some of them I will take off I've already taken off one turned out it was prone I got McAfee protection on my virus protection and it told me that it was a risky app so what I wanted out of it stored it and uh, uninstalled it now for external storage there is an SD card I got a, a 32 megabyte card internally but with a and I still call them a dongle it's an OTG off the grid connector that connects to your phone plug it in right and this particular one has both SD card slot and a USB slot I've got uh, I carry one of these with me all the time I back up my document files on my computer all the time and every day and I keep one on my keychain that has my most current important data on it so if I need to with with the Word, Excel, all of those programs on there I can access all of my data remotely if I need to and what am I missing? The I skipped something anybody see it? I don't want to take up too much time looking for it but this is basically what I have for field use with my smartphone a lot of the apps are like I said are online only but the rest of them Kindle I don't know what it was you can get Kindle books you can get a PDF reader for it and this phone I can take a picture of a document convert it to PDF store it so if you got a magazine article a picture uh, any information that's legal to copy you can copy and store it on the phone as part of your prep information and one really neat function besides the GPS and the regular compass on it is I have an application on here that I can take a picture of where I'm going it gives me the compass reading the GPS location and so I don't have to always be referring to this I have it if I get off track something and I know it I can look pull up this picture look at it verify the direction that I'm supposed to be going in but it's also especially good to take a back azimuth where I've been where I might want to go back to so I know what I should see on the way back and again it gives me the correct uh, compass and uh, GPS readings so any questions I was curious how much the extra batteries cost. They were, they have much larger ones. I was going to get the, uh, that's 13. I was going to get a, I think it was a 25 uh, milliamp hour, but it was 100. Mm. These were 50 a piece, so I've got, uh, oh no, it was, it was 25 milliamp hour. So I got these two, uh, 13,000, so I got 26,000 milliamp hour instead of the uh, I got more for less uh -huh. so they, they range there are some cheaper ones uh, if you're going to depend on it much in the field you need a good one 
uh, one with pretty good capacity, and it's got to be reliable. Uh, it can charge from a wall socket. I've got a 12 volt charger in the truck, uh, plus a couple others, and uh, you can charge it from your computer, and then it can charge anything. It'll take uh, the mini USB port. Mm -hmm. It will it will charge up. Gotcha. So you have extra batteries for the phone itself, and then the Limeade is the Limeade. That's that's a power pack, yeah. Okay, so what? But I'm at what was the price like for the separate? Oh, batteries? the separate batteries. Uh, I think they were only about twenty five bucks, wow. maybe forty with the charger. But I bought, uh -huh. I bought, I got one with the charger and bought an extra one. Uh, like I said, I keep that on my desk, and when I've used, I, li I like to s rotate my batteries, uh -huh. so I will s put a new one in. Uh, put the other one in the charger. Then have to, I usually carry one of those with me every day, as daily part of my daily carry, for in case I do go dead, I've got another battery. And like I said, sometimes this one is a little cranky at times that it it sucks the energy. But I got it's one of those things you have to keep things turned off in it, various applications and all, or they will continue to draw energy even when you're not using the phone. Only start them when you need them. And then turn them back off for yeah. external I keep Bluetooth off, and I keep location off unless I need it. Mm -hmm. Both of those help yep. not drain the battery. I do the same thing. Yeah. Any other questions? You mentioned uh, keeping your prep on inventory so you can look at what program are you using. Well, it's in the paper there. I don't have one yet, oh, okay. but I know it can be done. I do have a, a prepper inventory program in the list. But it, I don't like it. I will probably do my own. I've got one that I use in Excel. Yeah, I've and got so, mine all on Excel. Yeah, well, uh, this uh, program I've got will read and write to Excel. To Excel. Yeah. Anybody else? There's another great app um, for scanning barcodes to find the lowest price, and that's Red. I use Red Laser. Yeah, but I've got one that reads barcodes. It also reads the uh, markings, the square ones. Uh -huh. Yeah. That uh, that's another good feature. That if you are in the store, you can get information about the food you're thinking about buying. Mm -hmm. That's like I said. I've got that one. It's I got it listed, but it, I don't have. I didn't mention it. So mm -hmm. there's not much. I, well, yeah, there is a bunch I don't have. I'm still looking. And one site that's not listed here that I want to mention is what is that called? Let me look. But it's a free site. Or it's not a free, the site is free, but they do, it's a lady that has a blog that searches Kindle for free prepper books and, okay, and I've got my stuff turned off, I'm trying to remember where that is. There we go. Prep Utility Vehicle. Stupid name for a blog, but it's called Prepper Utility Vehicle. And she updates it every day, sometime fairly early morning. And there's a list of straight prepper books, health, food, uh, techn technology, and several other things. But uh, there is a, at the top of it is the permanent books. You have to scroll way down on the page, way, way, way down the page to get the, the most current free books. Anybody wants to look at it, if I make my connection. I've only got a single book. I can connect and show you what I'm talking about. I was going to tell you, too, if anyone has AT&T, there's a great app called Mark the Spot. And anytime you go into an area of the store reception, you can mark the spot. Like, so on, if on Highway 88, you charge like any cell reception at all. It'll actually tag a GPS marker where you were when you mark the spot. When you get to an area where there is service, it'll send a message to the network department letting them know that's a bad area. And you can report if it's data too slow, if you're traveling, if you're in the house, um, the voice sounds bad. And, and the more people that start using this app, the better the network can. And it's not like AT&T needs to put a new tower up. Sometimes they can just tweak the tower. 
to get it to a better range for more customers. So I highly recommend that. Sorry to interrupt. You're stepping on your mic. Oh, you're stepping oh, on your mic. Your mic's on. Uh oh. Sorry about that. I don't think I actually stepped on the mic just the court, but you may not be able to hear me. <laughs> okay. But pretty much everything is in the paperwork that I've gone over, because that's the only way I can do a uh, presentation is to read it, because I can't think of it in my by myself. I'll leave this stuff out. And like I said, anybody that wants to look at some of these apps on my phone, you're more than welcome to do so in the down times, lunch times, and stuff like that. Well, I Sounds timed good. it pretty good. Thank you. Thank you.